Hey everyone, this is Amanda DeGroat and I wanted to share out a quick video about this month's technology and innovation learning. This video will provide a quick overview of learning and some ideas for next steps. This month, we will be chatting about technology and integration. You might have heard of SAMR before, where this is a technology framework where thinking through like substitution all the way up to redefinition. And the quote really stood out to me that I thought was really important. This is from an article where I was asking, since SAMR is an older framework, if it was still relevant. And this person said, we feel that our students are digital natives, but they're native consumers of digital products. And it really made me pause and think about how, yes, we always think that students are on technology a lot and utilizing it, but are they truly creating or are they just consuming? I wanted to share some quick and easy ideas to have students digitally create in your classes using audio, video, or visuals. Students could do a quick how-to video, a reel, even a learning reflection, or making their thinking visible. And so how you might do that is on iMovie, Clips is only on your iPad, Flip. There's even on Photo Booth on your Mac, a way that would be really easy that you'd be able to do that. So for example, if I were to go on my Mac and I wanted to use Photo Booth to be able to go in and then do a thinking out loud, I could click on this, record. Here's my thinking for my overview of this unit. And then I really could just like drag and drop that in if I wanted to upload it to Canvas, a Keynote, Google Slide. I mean, there are just so many different options. Also something if you're thinking through for audio creation, you can do a bigger project where maybe the students are doing a podcast, but it could also be something really small where it's just a question and answer session like with a partner or just thinking through like what their thought process might be. They could do a book talk or share a reflection, practice their vocabulary if it's something where they need to be practicing that verbally. You can do that in GarageBand, but even just if you were to open up a voice memo, I'll show you just even on the keynote, I just click on media and then record audio. This is how I could do just a quick audio reflection on something and then you could export that as a video if you wanted to. I will record my voice and then be able to upload this to Canvas or Google. You just click insert and then this will stay right here with that keynote. So that's where if you wanted to then you would go to file, export, and then you could do a movie and that would keep that audio with it. What's really neat too is you could also do just an image. You can make a PDF. You could do even an animated GIF. Lots and lots of different options in here of what you could do but it doesn't have to be then requiring a whole bunch of different products. Lastly, I had some ideas for visual creation. So thinking through maybe it's an infographic or visual notes, they can do a model, a design, even animating a GIF, creating a logo, tons of different options within this. You can always do that in iWork. For example, I love Keynote. That's what I made this in. Or Pages is a great one. Canva. And even if you're just using markup for photos, if I had a photo looking at rock cycles, for example, right now. So I'm going to Google that. Maybe I look at an image. So I pick one of these. What I could do is save that image as. Then if you just go right into markup right here, so that little marker right there, I can then put in my own thought. I wonder what the transport might look like with different weather. So on here, I can then adjust and make it like bigger, smaller, adjust the color. I could put in shapes. So it could just be something really easy and it doesn't have to be anything too crazy or difficult, but yet it's something that could be done and then the students just upload that. If you would like to dig deeper about this topic or other ideas you might have, just feel free to reach out to me anytime to set up a time to chat. Thank you.